Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I got something really exciting for us. I got a OBD2 reader here, a scan tool, a battery checker, and this thing is pretty cool, and I wanted to make sure I shared this with you guys. And this has a lot of features that my bigger scanners here have, and still almost the price range of some of the small, inexpensive tools, and I think you guys are really going to like this. I want to make sure I get this over to you guys as soon as possible. So if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you guys know this is going to be the OBD2 scanner hookup right here. And every vehicle has a scan port. My vehicle's scan port's going to be located right there. It only goes in one way. And you just slide it on. You want to make sure that it gets power. And you always want to buy a device that does not have any batteries. Unless it's just for playback. So this one definitely meets that criteria. Here's what we got on the menu. We could diagnose. We could view live streams, view freeze frame information. We got a DTC lookup. You can review some of those data streams on here. You got a tool setup. You could print some of the data here. It comes with a little micro USB cable, which you could probably hook up the computer. I haven't tried doing that. You got a little help section and you got the battery check function right here. I'm going to show you guys that really quick. And to get scroll around on this, you basically just want to use the arrows right here. So we're going to hit battery check. And this tells me that my battery right now is okay. It's at 12.3 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and crank the motor really fast. And you're going to see that actually drop. There's a certain acceptable range. And... If you see your voltage is dropping down to six or seven as you're trying to crank, you know you uh, most likely have a bad battery or you need to check the charging system on the vehicle. So this is an added plus that you get on this particular scan tool and beats having to buy a separate tool just for that. But onto the main features of the actual tool itself here, you got this IM monitor test right here, the IM button. And when you hit that button, look what happens here, guys. It instantly pulls up the inspection monitor readiness so my check engine light is right there. I got zero tr codes right here. Everything is a green check mark. Everything's set to go, which is perfect. That's what we want to see happen. And I'm going to show you guys this erasing a check engine light on this Camry. I'm going to trigger that in a second for you guys. But let me show you guys this diagnose on here. So as we can see, we got check engine lights off. Eight monitors are complete zero that are incomplete and 41 data streams that are actually supported so that's pretty cool and now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to where it says data stream and I'm gonna choose my top module which is my engine control module right here and you can choose item by item I'm just gonna hit go ahead and do a view all Now it actually gives me eight pages of information here, right? One of the coolest features of this right here is going to be this engine coolant temperature. And if you have a vehicle such as an Audi, Porsche, or VW, this is so important because if your instrument cluster stops working, sometimes I've seen people replace the clusters because they think the cluster is broken, it's not reading anymore, but it happens to be the actual thermostat itself. So you always want to check the coolant coolant temperature on the, on the scan tool before you start replacing any parts this will save you a fortune such, we got items such as the RPM here so that's pretty cool but the most impressive feature on here is something that my thousand dollar scan tool doesn't have and it's gonna be this right here distance traveled since DTC's were cleared 1859 miles so this is so important if you're gonna go buy a vehicle and the person went ahead and cleared the check engine line and got it ready. And it shows that it's been uh, cleared for 99 miles. This is a car you may not want to buy. It's probably going to have a few problems. And you may want to stay clear of this. So this right here is a definite winner. I wish I had found this earlier. Because it makes buying a car so much easier for anybody. And it would have saved me a bunch of money. So get a thumbs up from me on the spot. So... And then we got all these other ones. We got we got catalyst temperatures, which is really great. So if you if I give the car gas, you can instantly see the 
climbing. So if you're having a problem passing smog and you don't know why, maybe you should uh, look at some of the, the live data or the actual Cadillac converter temperatures. And then we got a throttle positioning right here. And there's really not a lot of lag in this, so that's pretty impressive. And here's the, the last screen right here. Basically, it gives you a breakdown of everything, so and it, it also gives you information about your EVAP, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and hit exit out of here. One other thing you want to pay attention to right here is this green check mark. My green check mark is lit up, but if you see the yellow or the red, this means stop. So there's something on this vehicle that you should be paying attention to. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, trigger the check engine light on this vehicle now. And we're going to go from no check engine light. And now we got ourselves a check engine light right there. So that check engine light is on. And we're going to come back to the scanner here. I'm going to do a fresh scan. And you guys pay attention to this green button right there. Look what's going to happen. It went from green to red with the yellow lit up as well. So now it knows that there's something wrong and it needs me to pay attention. So we got two diagnostic trouble codes in the computer. All this stuff doesn't mean anything anymore. Now we got a check engine light. So we got to go get this taken care of. And I've already gone ahead and fixed the problem. But now it needs to be reset. But I'm going to show you guys the code really quick on this. I just did this for just video purposes. And I got a, a P0102, which is going to be the mass or volume airflow circuit. So that's pretty cool. Gives me the codes and the definitions on the spot. And very impressive. The screen is fully colored, so you get a really good contrast. And now I can go ahead and record this information. Right? So there, there's some pretty cool things. You also got a pending for the same codes and now we're gonna go to erase it says are you sure you want to erase the check engine line I'm gonna hit yes and it says please turn the ignition on with the engine off and press any key to continue my engine is off my ignition is on and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the enter button right here okay now there you go now my check engine light on the vehicle is going to be off so we got we no longer have a check engine light right there which is perfect and now you can pay attention to those symbols now we got a green with the yellow lit up and now let's go visit that same screen we had earlier which was going to be the data streams and we're going to go to view all I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine on. So there's that screen right there again where it says distance travel since DTCs were last cleared and now we're at zero. And one other really cool thing I just noticed right here, you just find out more and more as you use these. I've been only using this for about five days but I was really impressed is look at this right here distance traveled while the check engine light was on so that is so cool right there if you go to somebody's house and they're saying hey this just happened and it's a great car I've never had any issues with it and you come up and it says the person has been driving the car like that for 10,000 miles and they had a random misfire well there's a pretty good chance that if the car has been misfiring for 10,000 miles that it may have done more damage than just wasting gas it may have burned up the catalytic converters as well so that's something that you really want to pay attention to. A couple of things I did want to point out is going to be the size of this. Relevant to some of the other scanners. This thing is going to be a little bit bigger. But you get a lot more for your money with this. And this is my bigger scanner here. And this is just a suitcase. So I basically got to take all this with me most of the time. And this is touch screen. And it's going to be very fragile. So you got to be really careful with it. This did come with a nice protective case. Which I really did like. 
and so that's pretty cool I'm gonna show you guys in use one more time on this 2004 Mach 1 picked up here for the channel and I got it on the cheap because the mechanics that told the owner that the motor was blown well the motor wasn't blown and I fixed it for $15 and if you guys want to know how leave your comments below I'll try to point you guys in the right direction so let's get this hooked up ignition on and this is kind of exciting for me as well because I haven't got to drive this car for about a week and I'm gonna really get a chance to see what the IM monitors on this car say because I was trying to get ready for smog and I think the catalyst converter was not ready last Woohoo! that's pretty cool check it out I got my uh, catalyst converter ready on this car so really excited I still got one that's incomplete right here guys the evap system on this car is not ready so let's go back here and we're gonna go to the battery check on this again we're at 12 volts on this one it hasn't been started for a week so check this out it's pretty active look when I hit the brake you can see that the voltage just plummets on this so this battery it went down to 9.2 so it's just been sitting it's really cold out here and we're instantly at 14.4 volts while it's on let me go ahead and turn this off so overall this thing gets a two thumbs up guys it's a really great scan tool and this is not just a code reader it gives you so much more information please leave your comments and your questions below and if this is the first time visiting the channel please consider subscribing for more time and money saving videos just like this and i'll have a link to the scanner in the description box below have a great day let me know if you guys have any comments hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate your continued support